And joining us for that today are Will and David, who are the co-founders and the only dev developers of Friends and Fables, which is one of the earlier LM-driven RPGs. Previous to Friends and Fables, David was an engineer at Amazon and a couple of other AI startups, while Will is an engineer from an ad tech background. Will, David, welcome. Hey, hey happy to be here. Thanks for having us. <laughs> so, Friends and Fables. Yes. <laughs> Tell us about it. You want to take it? Oh, wait. <laughs> Sorry, what, what was the question? Tell us about Friends and Fables. So, what, uh, what's the uh, one-liner, the short story, what's the, or the long yes. one? <laughs> so, we actually just went through a whole marketing refresh. The new one-liner is Friends and Fables is a platform to create and play AI RPGs. The, we don't say tabletop specifically in the one-liner for SEO purposes, but it is primarily focused around a tabletop experience. So one of the things that stood out, so when we met maybe over a year ago and when I saw first, first one of the things that stood out was that there is an actual game state, right? The characters have stats and the characters are in some sort of, I, I guess back then it was like a 2D plane, but there is some sort of underlying map and structure to the game versus just a game that lives entirely in the LLM's world model, so to call. Is that correct? Yeah, I mean, we, the way it first started off was we first had this idea to create like an AI game master, like how everybody does, right? They see ChatGPT, they think, can I have a GM run Dungeons and Dragons for me? And very simply, at the beginning, it was just like a Discord bot. And okay, be a dungeon master and try to run this interesting campaign. But as you go through that, you realize, oh, the LM can't keep track of things like your inventory, can't keep track of your spell slots, any of this type of stuff. So naturally, it's like, you need to store that somewhere else. 